Hey guys, Camper15, back at it with another video for you guys, and I'm here with another anime review for you guys, my first anime review of the show. Um, sorry for getting these this episode or this series review out a lot later than what it should have been. Um, again, background information, you know, I've been kind of in this mode of catching up and reviewing a bunch of animes that I have... Yet to cover this son this season of anime in the fall. Um, mostly because my trip to Atlanta threw a lot um, of influx to that. Um, because I was just in Atlanta. And then obviously with work getting in the way. Um, I get home relatively late. Um, and by the time I get home, well, eh, it's like going on eight and... I have a bunch of other stuff. I want to eat my dinner. And then some of the times I have to actually watch the shows. And then by the time I watch the shows, it's too late. But regardless, blue box, blue box, blue box. Hopefully I can get these reviews out. Um, at least I watch the episode Thursdays and then get the reviews out. Maybe on like, like, for example, today, like Friday, but have record the episode review on Thursday night. Since technically that is you know, and I, I can sleep in and everything. But anyways, um, Blue Box, Blue Box, Blue Box, Blue Box. One of the highly anticipated animes that a lot I know some people wanted to watch. Um, obviously, the show's on Netflix, not a fan favorite, but at least it releases weekly, right? Um, and the reason why um, I was actually, if you go dating back to my fall of anime 2024, um, what I will watch slash review, I was interested in this when I read the premise is because... It's a romance anime, but with sports. And I love sports, and I sure as hell am a sucker for a romance when it comes to my romance animes. Um, so, Blue Box. Um, Blue Box. So, I'm reviewing the first three episodes, really. It's mostly, to be honest, it's mostly kind of episodes. I'm just summarizing all three episodes into one, and mostly talking about you know, episode, you know, three, or yeah, episode three this week, um, but episode, episode, uh, one, essentially, we focus on our main male character of the series, um, our boy, Takai Inamata, um, and essentially, it, um, he goes to the high school, and he plays the sport badminton, um, now, um, what happens is throughout the first episode, we get an understanding how much he likes to play badminton. And we also see he has a crush on a girl in high school, like every other guy does, um, for this girl named Chinatsu Kano. Um, and Chinatsu Kano is a very talented basketball player. Um, also she's very cute. My boy's obviously attracted to her. He likes her. And he's just blown away by what she can do and everything. Now, one of his best friends, which is an English friend, his name is Keo. He basically is like, man, she's out of your league, dude. Like, you're just a random guy. And she's, you know, just some high freaking great athlete, right? Also, too, she's a year. She's in a grade, you know, older than he is um, or higher than he is. So, um, every time they talk, she call he calls her uh, Chinatsu Senpai or whatever, right? Um, so, essentially what happens is throughout the first episode, they actually do have interactions where they talk and everything. And she just kind of talks to him like, oh, I see you every day, you know, you know, practicing and working out and getting here early at the gym, which kind of makes it to where it's like, okay, she sees him before. She, it's not like she... He's a complete, like, nobody to her. She's seen him before, and she occasionally watches what she, what he does. Um, and, and essentially what happens is we end up finding some backstory about Shinatsu or the fact that, you know, she, the reason why she practices so hard is because, I think if I remember from the first episode, she was, like, in Nationals or some championship game, or she just came up short. Um, to get to one of those stages and it disappointed her and basically you know our boy gave the gave her the inspiration later in the episode about it 
um, and because it has ties in to that episode, because in the episode, um, she says, um, she, he, he overhears that she's going to move, or she, she her family's going to move away, and the reason why he found that out is because when he talked to his mom, um, his mom said he actually, she actually knew her family, her parents. Her parents were actually good friends back when they went to high school, they played on the same basketball team, um, and essentially, by finding that information out, our boy Takai got a little bit like, holy hell, this girl I really like is going to be leaving the school. And she's going to be transferring because she's moving and everything. I might never get a chance to see her again. And because of what he had told her the previous day about how he said he saw her work so hard and everything and about the whole national story, um, it actually inspired her to keep going on and then it even inspired her to stay and her luckily her parents like okay sure you can stay at school and then the first episode kind of ends off in a way where it's like my man is like dreaming because he was always dreaming in the the early part of the episode like what it would be like to live with chinatsu right and then this man wakes up and he opens to his kitchen door and she's standing right there and he's like wait what are you doing here is this a dream but no it's not an actual dream um for him for him um we find out that her parents essentially said she can live with her boy takai's family um and everything so this gets <laughs> our boy so like oh my god oh my god oh my god my cl- my crush is living in the same house as me which man like if that like legitimately like I've had a lot of crushes over my times in high school, but I can only imagine being in high school and your high school crush ends up like living with you because they were supposed to move, but the parents are so buddy buddies, you know, (laughs) it's like, well, if you're buddy buddies, well then guess what? You guys can just live together. You can just live at my friend's house, right? So that leads into episode two where my boy is like freaking the hell out. Anytime he does anything around the house, he's just like, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, and he's he's freaking out. The one of the cute, sweet moments in episode two was when she kind of gave him, I guess you could say like some sort of friendship bracelet. And it's like a good luck charm. She has one on her wrist and she ties it around his ankle for good luck. And I'm like, okay, that's cute. That's, that, that's adorable. Um... Now, throughout that second episode, kind of the main premise is really Takai being very, I guess you can say, so, I wouldn't say socially awkward, but like he 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 worry. And what we've actually kind of been seeing the first two episodes or the first three episodes now that she started living with him, he's very like he doesn't have any confidence in terms of you know people and people and what other people will view um like you know he ends up like not talking so much in the second episode to chinatsu which i wouldn't say kind of upsets her but you know she kind of gets like oh he probably doesn't want to talk to me or anything um and they end up having a talk later where you know he ends up saying like look i'm sorry i don't mean to like be rude or anything to you it's just i'm worried about what other people think if like they found out like oh we're living together for whatever for the reason that it is right and we have it to where he has these like thoughts like what others will view him if they found out like him and shinatsu were living together and he's afraid of like if people are going to judge him especially if other guys are going to go at him and saying you know try to beat him up or something because he's living with shinatsu right and i i can't think of the I can't think of the word what I'm thinking, but it's where like you're very much affected by what other people view you or what you might think of you. So far, well, we get kind of a hint in episode three because he makes the mention about like them going home at different times and everything. And, you know, he makes the mention like, you know, I know you, you're you not really bothered by, you know, this whole thing and everything and that people find out. But then she's she's walking home in the third episode. She knocks and makes the mention like, so that's how you think I feel. You think I feel like I have no problem with this. 
or I wouldn't, or I feel like people wouldn't, it would be fine, you know, I'm fine with people finding out what the heck our, our thing is going on, right? And that kind of was a little bit of a dead giveaway, like, okay, maybe she's just as socially awkward, or maybe she just doesn't have, she, she, she's very aware of the surroundings, the fact like, well, what are other people going to think about me if I found out I'm living with that over at this guy's house? we go to the same school there's gonna probably be rumors about us saying thing like we're going out or something right um and that was something to me that i'm like okay she might actually be like kind of aware of the situation and kind of afraid just as much as takai is and afraid of what other people will think and say about her if they find out like oh i'm living at this dude's house and we go to the same school together right and on top of it He's my junior and I'm his senpai, essentially, right? And all, and, and I can imagine they probably are thinking, she's probably thinking like, just imagine the things people are saying about her and everything. Because realistically, um, she's like one of those girls in their high school that's so popular that she really had, people are not confident in like potentially asking her out, right? But, you know, he apologizes and he works through everything also too she kind of has a misunderstanding too in this episode because she actually thought like oh i thought you actually liked the the um hina the pink haired girl which um she's definitely giving me the childhood friend vibes where you got these romance animes and the childhood friend stuff typically uh the childhood friend typically loses in this whole romance angle now they played it off like a bit that Hina may be actually interested in Takai, but in a weird way, we kind of have it to where Hina's doing her best to try to help out Takai. But I could see it at some point in this show, she ends up developing feelings for our boy. Maybe she actually likes the she actually liked our our guy, our boy, and she's just been putting it away because she knows I probably have no chance because. My friend here, who I really like a lot, is in love with another girl or likes another girl a lot, right? We don't know, but I would not be shocked if we get an episode to where, you know, she's focused on him and she just is, I want to say upset, but disappointed and sad that Takai obviously has a crush on Shinatsu. It, it just gives me vibes from what she is. She's a great character. He Hina, he's a great character. I like her. He's very funny, um, and everything. But I just have a sneaking suspicion she's gonna be the girl that's left out, and she's gonna be your typical childhood friend that ends up getting the short end of the stick, right? So that's kind of the thing right then and there. Um, and then and then after episode two, that leads into this week's episode three, which so far has been my favorite episode and i think the best episode of the show so far up to this point and then that's when we kind of get the introduction to a potential love rival because we start the episode off where we last left off in episode two when hina and takai are walking home together and what is it they're talking and then you have it to where hina looks back and she sees chinatsu and she's talking to this other guy in her class named kengo um, who is another bad man and player on the team, but he's really damn good. Um, right? Also, I forgot to mention, too, um, Takai also made the declaration that he wants to go to Nationals. That's his goal. He wants to shoot at his goals to go make Nationals. And as she uh, and essentially, um, Shinatsu ends up finding out about that, that he wants to do go to Nationals, which, you know, she then starts to watch him a bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. She then starts to watch him a bit more and pay attention a little bit more to the hard work he's putting in, right? So, um, you have, when I was watching this, I'm like, okay, here's the love interest. Here's the love rival where these two might be going back and forth. This guy might actually like Shinatsu and our boy uh, Takai is having some like, you know, he he's getting a little bit upset and depressed by this. He's like, my goodness, this guy's so damn good and he's so damn talented. He's like a Nationals like player and everything and he's really good. It would make sense why maybe she has an interest in him and everything. And obviously, it looks on the outside like she he has an interest in her. And it's like, oh man, this is gonna be interesting. And I'm like, okay. So then 
what happens is they're doing like i guess tryouts or whatever to i guess see who's gonna make the main team or whatever or go to like one of the first tournaments that they have to do and the thing is kango's actually been like undefeated he's been beating dudes like fairly easily right and he's been having no problems but then you just have it to where all of course of course our boy gets the short end of the stick and he ends up having to fight up against kango now in batman it seems like they have two sets that they do um so in the first set our boy essentially is going up against kango and he's getting absolutely dominated like kango's just a faster better more talented player than he is right um and he is just getting the better hand or the, or the upper hand on him right and it's crazy to see like okay this guy's actually struggling right so during the break he sees like some of the issues that he has to essentially overcome and deal with and everything so then in the second round right or the second set he actually ends up doing he actually <clears throat> excuse me he actually ends up doing a lot better um it actually gets uh chinatsu to start looking over at the match and everything um and watching the match and even though our boy we find out later he ended up losing he actually made the match a lot closer than what it should have been and his friend is and his friend Keo was like hey man look just look on the bright side look man um hey you you put your all in it and you you know you were down a lot but then you managed to come back but our, uh, but Takai he he's still upset because he's like yeah I get that but regardless I'm still upset because I lost at the end of the day and you know Keo's like oh i personally don't think it's a big deal but all right but you know obviously that's the thing and you see takai's like motor and his drive on wanting to get better and actually trying to live up to his goals to make um nationals he knows yeah you know i played up against a guy that was so much better than me but i feel like i still could have came out of there and won um and everything and it's funny because you have it to where Kengo's group, he, they overhear that conversation, right? And Kengo's a little bit upset too because he's like, in a weird way, you know, he's upset at the fact like he kind of let, I won't say, I wouldn't say like a scrub to him, but like basically some, like a, essentially a freshman, essentially, I feel like he was disappointed at the fact like he maybe thought like he could get by pretty easily against a freshman in Takai, um, but the fact that he actually had to work to try to beat him you know, he's disappointed in the fact that, shit, that must mean I, I haven't been working my game too well. So then the next day, they end up being on, like, the same doubles team, right? And at least a funny comedic moments right then and there. Now, before the conversation, um, he's uh, Takai's talking with his friend Kyo, and then he's talking about this and everything, and then he, he makes the mention about Chinatsu and everything. Now, the dude walks, you know, Kengo walks up, he's like, hey, let's go. And he's like, oh, my goodness, and he's just like... Oh thank goodness Kengo senpai didn't hear about my my me talking about Shinatsu and my feelings for her. This man then turns around and he's just like So you like Shinatsu's, huh, don't you? And this man's like Oh I'm sad. Now it's funny because you think okay this guy likes her and also too he overhears Shinatsu because at some point in the episode, our boy is like, I'm not going to care about anything that Kengo has to do with Shinatsu. Nothing, nothing. I'm going to get by. And then he walk, he comes in and walks in on a, their group talking. And he overhears him calling her Chi. And then he's like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. And, and it's funny because he's just like, deep down, he's like, he calls her Chi. She's already got a nickname. Can I call her Chi? I'm just like, my guy, you're... You're, you're, you need to calm down, my guy. You need to calm down, okay, brother? Like, we get it. You're you're a little bit uh, sad that uh, this dude who you think likes the girl you like has got given her a nickname, right? So, um, it's funny. And so then he finds out, and he's like, so you like Shinatsu? And I'm just like, oh, brother. Now, I'm watching the episode, not knowing the context, right? Everything about this character, and I'm like, He's going to freaking torment this guy. And he's going to even get on this guy even more. Because he's going to be like, oh, you think you're so good for Chinatsu, huh? 
yeah, please, I'm the guy for her, buddy. And I'm like, okay, this is what we're going to get. And then he starts to bully him during their, like, train during his training. But at the same time, he's also giving him tips like, hey, dude, you're not, you're, why are you, like, doing, like, a power shot, essentially, all this time? You know, it's only, it's, it'll be an easy counter for your opposition. If you did, if you, if you hit your racket like this, it's going to be much better and your opponent will have little to no time to react and counter. Um, so at the same time, he's getting good information from probably one of the best players on the team, right? And, and Kago's actually training him in a weird way, teaching him some things of saying like, hey, this is what you can do to improve your game. Um, because you're just not doing what you're, you're taking more of a different approach instead of doing the more smarter approach. And it, it makes sense. You, you know, in games like this, like tennis and everything, we have to do a racket, not only do to be composed to hit the ball, but you got to understand like what type of shots, you know, I, you know, you have to do at the right time. And when is it time to like sell all out and make a power sh hit or like just basically keep the ball in play um and everything right um so essentially um through this training and everything um what happens is you know there's a moment in the episode where he ends up ran he ends up he ended up running home and everything um chinatsu ended up you know showing up and then they kind of have a talk where you know she's like oh so did you run for my sake so people didn't have to find out and everything and he's like oh no 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 I'm just running because um, I was just getting some extra training in and everything, right? Um, so, while well, that's... So, we get to near the tail end of the episode, right? Um, so, after one, of the, after one of the practice training sessions, um, essentially what happens is Kengo sees him walk and he was like, Hey, come over here, uh, Takai. And he ends up... You know, telling his posse essentially like, I I bully this kid because he sucks and everything. And Shinatsu's there, and this man's like, oh man, she he shit talking me, um, in front of my crush and everything, right? Bringing bringing um bringing me down, so then um it makes him look good and everything, and it doesn't make me look good, right? So. What then happens is he then follows him saying, but look, the dude's got potential. He's got some talent. He just got to hone his skills a little bit more, right? Which, that's a nice comment. And she ends up seeing that. And she smiles at him and everything. And then he gets a call and he's like, oh, it's my girlfriend. And our dude is, our boy Takai is like, wait, girlfriend? And he's like, yeah, I have a girlfriend. You know, because he he... Talk about how he likes girls that basically strive to do things on their own and push themselves. And his girlfriend, he basically says, has those characteristics and, you know, he's like her. And it's weird because it's like, it was more the fact like he was going to ask her, but she ended up asking him. And because he thought like, oh, he she liked another guy, but she ended up asking him out and they started going out and started dating. So... As of the time being, our boy is now got has nobody that has um, any eyes on Shinatsu, right? Right. So that's kind of the cool thing, right then and there. So he and so him and she, so Shinatsu catches up to him and she's like, "Hey, come with me." And he's like, "But why?" He's like, "I want to do something." So they go to this park, and she ends up pulling out some badminton rep. Um, rackets and he's like wait how'd you get that he's like oh I just she just she's like oh I just borrowed them you know she goes on to say like look I saw your match with uh Kengo uh senpai and everything right and I saw you working hard on the fact that you basically challenged him a lot right um oh man oh boy oh boy um so essentially um what happened is she's trying to hit the racket essentially it's funny it's it's an adorable moment because she's trying to hit the racket or she's trying to hit the the badminton right and then our boy takai has to show her how to do it and he ends up doing that right and um you know she starts to hit it and everything and in a weird way she's telling him like you know 
what you did was I watched you this entire time and what you did was pretty inspiring and everything and you know and it was a nice moment to where he knows like oh she has been watching me and she has been paying attention to me um and it's not like she doesn't you know want to pretend that she doesn't see me or she just wants to try and yeah so it's cool you know it's it's nice and i feel like what we're getting out of chinatsu um and we really haven't had like an episode so far where it's just like focusing on her perspective and everything we've only been getting to kai's perspective so we really truly don't know how she internally feels but i would not be shocked if chinatsu is developing feelings for our boy takai especially after the first episode that because after the words he said in the first episode it inspired her and she's seeing like okay this guy's really working his ass up and who knows she probably probably likes guys that you know works their tails off and is a good thing and obviously the fact that they're living together it's only going to create and the more they get to know about each other more it's only not only gonna it's only gonna develop her feelings for our boy takai to the point she's gonna essentially start falling for him um i definitely could see it to where he's gonna end up making nationals and then she's gonna be in the stands cheering him on um and everything um so but i could see it to where she gets the nationals first and then he's in the stands cheering her on. She sees that and it gets her to this time pro propel and get to where she needs to get to, right? And then she's going to be cheering him on at nationals. And that's going to be probably be around the part unless we get it sooner where it's basically going to be revealed that Shinatsu and it does in fact like Takai. And then it's going to make it off where it's going to now will their feeling now at some point will they confess both their feelings? Um, who knows? I don't know um but i'm really liking the show i'm definitely to talk about it on a weekly basis shinatsu is uh she's definitely up there for best girl she's definitely up there for best girl and she's definitely up there for waifu material but um yeah yeah anyways um that's basically it that's all i gotta say so i'm gonna get out of here guys if you guys like the video leave a like Put in the comment section your thoughts on this week's episode or the last three weeks episode and even this week episode three a blue box and things like that if you're wondering where to watch blue block blue box keep calling it blue blocks B blue box try saying that three times fast right um the only legal way to watch it off on is netflix i don't know about for international people though um if you pirate it well i guess you pirate it but the only way to uh watch it is uh through um it it's through strictly netflix um and luckily, see, the thing is about Netflix, at least as of late, they've been doing it for animes they claim, and they do weekly releases. They don't do that batch release, so, yeah. Um, so, we'll see. We will definitely see. Um, I don't know if the show's gonna get an English dub at some point. Usually, Netflix animes, they do end up getting English dubs. Um, if it's Netflix original anime, um, it makes the most sense um, that they would get an english dub so it'll be interesting to see what the english dub sees i'll just have to look at my dub english dub my english dub anime reddit page to see if they have any aspirations on making an english dub but we'll definitely see but like i said i like the characters i like our main boy i definitely love our girl chinatsu she's probably one of the best anime girls this season um just like momo isa from dadan um so yeah, but anyways, I'm gonna go over catch you guys in this video. Till then, guys, stay safe up there and have a hit and hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, till then, guys, peace.